Welcome to another video, I am Alessandro from the Indie Toaster and today we decided to play The Flood. Uh, I say we, but I'm actually going to be alone in this one. Elisa is not with me for this recording session, she went to spend some time with the family. And another thing before we move on is that this game is, well first of all it is extremely short. Uh, the description says you can finish it in less than 5 minutes. And the second thing is that this one is supposed to be more of a narrative game, so I'll not add that much commentary to it and just play it through in full. I may add a few comments here and there, but that's as much as I'm going to say. Uh, but you can find more about it in an upcoming article. Well, upcoming if you're watching this when, when the video comes out. Or article that already exists if the video is a bit older that we will link in the description. So I've said enough. I don't want to butcher the uh, name of the developers, so you can just see them here and I'll add a link to their social media in the description. And that's it, just let's click the button and play the game. So as far as I know, this game is just all about going down this river. And all you're asked to do is to keep pressing the buttons so that your boat keeps moving. And as you move down, uh, the developer included a really short story. It has no voiceover, so I'll just try. I already played a bit of it just to check if everything was okay with like settings and everything. Uh, so I'll just try to read it for you. Uh, I slow down, okay, never mind. I was gonna say, I hope one day they get someone to uh, do the voiceover for this. So that's a suggestion. Dev, dev team, if you're watching this, please do a voiceover because I feel it would be amazing. But, okay, that's that's as much as I... It's not only the scenery you may miss by going too fast, you may actually miss where you're going completely, and now I'm stuck. Let me back up. See? that That's what happens when you talk instead of, instead of playing the game that you're supposed to be playing. Okay, and that's it. See, I noticed this before, and I feel that the game is maybe a bit too silent when it comes to just like background noise. So I feel kind of uncomfortable not pla not talking. You may also miss the sense of where you're going. Okay, I'm digging the music though. Like I really dig this sort of just like relaxing track with the. Uh, with a nice bass and everything. Uh, if you if you ever end up playing this, I suggest and why I suggest use headphones because you can hear the whole soundtrack perfectly. And there's piano in here. There's there's bass. There's a lot of just like cymbals and uh, um, and drums that you will enjoy with uh, headphones that you may not enjoy if you just play it out loud with, with a set of speakers. So, are we stuck again? Nope, we're not. All things flow naturally forward. Okay. I can dig that, I can understand that. In whatever way they like. Sure. Okay, I'm gonna hit that pipe. I know I'm gonna hit that pipe. See, I knew that. And now let me back up again. The bag feels kind of weird. It feels like you're, you're just like sailing on mud sometimes. And that's the thing I feel the developers should know. You cannot change the flow of the river. There's a tree in the way. Oh, so it does have sound effects. They're just really, really, um, how to say that? Just like not that loud at all. But you can always adjust your direction. Okay. 
Wow. I gotta say, I already played through this once, and I did a lot better when it came to sailing. But you will never see that version, so now you think I just cannot control a boat. Fair enough. Simply enjoy the journey. And try not to crush a boat. See, you can see like, just to the left, that someone already crashed their boat. That was probably me in another life, being unable to properly manage this thing. And when you lose sight of your path... Damn, that music kicked in right, just at the right time, by the way. Listen for the destination in your heart. I think we're nearing the end. Because sometimes, when you lose your way, You may find yourself. That was kind of deep, I liked it. That was a, actually a nice finale. Like, just a nice little ending. And that's it. That was the flood. As I said before, really tiny, really short, really cute and relaxing narrative adventure. Uh, developed by Andre. Andre, I have no idea how to pronounce your name, man. I am so sorry if I'm butchering it. Angelovich and Josef Sariski. Uh, I I can already feel the cringe of these guys just watching the video and being like, dude, come on, no, no, don't do that. But anyway, that was the flood. That was a full playthrough, actually our first full playthrough on the channel. So I want to ask you to tell me, to tell us, if you like this kind of stuff, if you want to see more full playthroughs, if you want to see more uh, quick looks at, if you just want to see highlights from our recording sessions, just leave a message below, leave a comment below. Let us know, hit us on Facebook, hit us on Twitter, you can find us anywhere, we're we'll always with a phone in our hands, so just get in contact and give us your feedback. And that's all for me today, we will be back with another game in a few days, possibly with Eliza, if she just doesn't decide to run away. That was it, goodbye.